question again. Um, it says. A particle P moves in a straight line such that after t seconds, its distance x meters from a fixed point O in the line is given by x being equal to sine t plus 2 cos t. We have this full stop. Sine t plus 2 cos t. So we have this. If its velocity is v meter per second and its acceleration is a meters per second squared, show that a we are asked about a there. We are asked to show that v squared is equal to five minus x squared. That's a. V part says that a is equal to minus x. So prove these two things, given um, x to be this. So I did, like I said, um, differentiation that we did was not the major stuff. It was just a means to an end, right? You need the idea of differentiation to be able to work out problems like this. So this is actually the main idea, which is under um, application of differentiation. Last will be treated to. Look at rectilinear motion and then um, the other guy there. This one here is still under rectilinear motion. We said under rectilinear motion, we talk about a body moving toward there, a straight line. That's rectilinear motion. And we said for rectilinear motion there, the, the major concept is that if I have distance or displacement, if I differentiate what, it gives you what there? Speed or what? Velocity. Differentiate twice, it gives, gives you what there? Acceleration. That was the idea there. So we have this stuff here. Um, perhaps you'll be asked to prove things using differentiation. Just like what I have here. They gave me distance x as v equal to sine t plus 2 cos t. I'm asked to show that v squared is equal to 5 minus x squared and show that a is equal to minus x. They said v means what there? Velocity. a means what there? Acceleration. Alright, let's get this done. Uh, the solution. So solution, first things first, I'm given that x is equal to sine t plus 2 cos t. Since they mentioned the velocity here, my task would be, if I have, uh, they call it distance, right? If I have distance, I want to get velocity, what do I do? If I show for that, the distance with respect to what? Time. So you know that v is equal to the x on the word there. Dt and that's equal to d all over dt. That's d all over dt of x. What x there? X is this. That becomes sine t plus 2 cos t. So differentiate this one again. I will have that v is equal to differentiate sine t. What do you get there? So I have cos t. Next up, plus 2 into differentiate cos t. What do you get there? I have minus sine t. So we have it. Alright, simplify this. This is now equal to, so we have that v is equal to cos t. So I have cos t plus minus, minus, this at least, 2 sine t. So I have v as being equal to cos t minus 2 sine t. Now, if I'm given this, observe, what I have here is not just v, but what there? V squared. What I have here is not just x, but what there? X squared. So my task will now be get a value for V squared and X squared. If I have X as this, so if X is this, let's find X squared. So X squared will be equal to this one here, um, sine t plus 2 cos t, or what there? Or squared. If it's squared, it means it's multiplying itself. So that's equal to this man of Christ itself becomes sine t plus 2 cos t multiplied itself sine t plus 2 cos t. Work this out. This is equal to sine t sine this times this 
So sin c times sin c is what? Yeah? I'm having sin squared t plus, next one, sin t times 2 cos t gives you what? Yeah? Uh, 2 cos t, what gives that? Sin t. This one is 2 cos t sin t. Next one, take this and this becomes plus. This and this is what? Yeah? 2 cos t sin t. Finally, plus times plus. There's plus. 2 times 2 is 4. Cos t times cos t is what? Yeah? Cos squared t. Look out for like terms. So I have that x squared is equal to, look out for like terms. These two are like terms. Cos t sin t. Cos t sin t. So add the numbers here. So this one now gives you sine squared t. Then this one here. Yeah? Uh, plus 4 cos t sine t. Next up. Plus 4 cos squared t. So I have this. Alright. Please look at this piece. Can anything add here? Can anything add here? Yeah? Uh, obviously not. So stop there. So I've got the value of x squared. So we've gotten this. My next step, let's get this squared. So for this squared, for this squared, that will be equal to uh, what that be? Here's the value for me. So it becomes cos t minus 2 sine t all squared. So this man you multiply itself. And that's now equal to that's now equal to cos t minus 2 sine t. This multiply itself cos t minus 2 sine t. So we have this. Right, so multiply this is now equal to this multiply this cos t cos t. You see what there? Cos squared t. This and this gives you minus 2 cos t sine t. So minus 2 cos t sine t. Take up this one here, this and this, minus 2 cos t sin t. So minus 2 cos t sin t. Finally, minus minus gives you plus. 2 times 2 gives you 4 sin t sin t sin square t. So we have this. Alright, collect like terms. This is now equal to um, these two are like terms. You can see cos t sin t, cos t sin t, so you are like that. Take down this one, I'm having cos square t into minus 2 minus 2 gives you minus 4 into cos t sin t. Finally this, so plus 4 into what that? Sin square t, so I have this. Alright, so far so good, I have a value for this one here and this one here. So how do I impute them? How do I impute them? Now, look at it. Here's what to do. Uh, depends on your approach. Look at it. Here's what to do. Depends on your approach. Just to prove that this is true, what I'll do is this. Given that, but, and um, given that uh, b squared is equal to 5 minus x squared. Please watch this please. If b squared is equal to 5 minus x squared, move this one here over here. What do you get there? I'll get there. I'll get that word there. B squared. This one comes here because what there? Plus. So plus x squared is equal to what there? 5. So I have this. So what I have to do is this. I'll take the value for B squared, which is uh, this one here. This is B squared. I'll take the value of B squared. I will add it up to what there? X squared. And I'm going to say what there? 5. If it's not 5, then it's not correct. I'm expecting 5. So simply take v squared and x squared, add them together, and see if you get five. Um, therefore, we said v squared plus x squared should be equal to five. Let's do this. Check for v squared. What's your value for v squared? What do you get? Cos squared t. Minus 4 cos t sin t plus 4 sin squared t. So here is b squared plus, next up, x squared, give me a value. 
sine squared t plus 4 cos t sine t. Next up. Plus 4 cos squared t. Let's focus on this. Uh, so this will now be equal to, this will now be equal to, for like like terms, uh, I'm seeing cos squared t, it becomes cos squared t, I'm seeing another cos squared t here, but this time attached to 4, bring this man here, becomes plus 4 cos squared t, I'm done with this. Next if I have this, minus 4 cos t sine t, uh, minus 4 cos t sine t. So this is cos t sine t. I can see another cos t sine t. It becomes plus 4 cos t sine t. Next I have 4 sine square t. It becomes plus 4 sine square t. Finally I have another sine square t. So plus sine square t. Obviously these two can cancel as a bit. Yes. Yeah. So this one here cancels this up. I'm left with bring this thing equal to this and this. Cos squared t plus 4 cos squared t. What do you get there? Five. It becomes 5 cos squared t. Okay? Cos squared t, cos squared t. Add the numbers. 4 here, 1 here. That gives you 5. Um, plus, same thing here. What do you get there? 5 sine squared t. We said our answer should be 5. This is not 5. So what do we do here? I'm seeing 5 here, I'm seeing 5 here, I can factorize. So that's now equal to bring out 5. If I move 5 here, what do you have here? Cos square t plus move 5 here, what do you have here? Sine square t. So I have 5 into cos square t plus sine square t. This is the three function, have it? But what do we know? We know that cos square t plus what? Sine squared t is equal to what there? Eh? Wow. One from three function. So hence this is equal to five into what do you get here? Eh? One. And that's equal to what there? Eh? Proof. Proof. So in this condition, that's fine. That's correct. That's the A part. That's the B part. That's the A part. See the space here. Eh? Let me let me chip in the B part here. See the space. Let me check the big part here. So B says, look at this. B says you should prove that um, prove that A is equal to what that? Minus X. Look at this. Give me B. B. What's B? B B is equal to what? Check B. Cos T minus what? 2 sin T. 2 sin T. We said A is equal to what there? B V over what? B T. So that's now equal to uh, B V T. That's equal to D all over the T of V. That's cos T minus 2 sin T. So I have this. So hence A is equal to differentiate cos T. What do you get there? <laughs> minus sin T minus 2 into differentiate sine t, what do you get there? I have cos t. Differentiate cos t, you have minus sine t, minus 2. Differentiate sine t, you have cos t. This is now equal to, if I work with sine t, you see what there? Minus sine t, minus 2 cos t. Alright, if I look at this now, look at it. If I look at this now, so a is now equal to if I take the minus out, take minus out of this, it becomes minus, I'm left with what here? Sine t plus 2 cos t. So minus with this, minus sine t. Minus plus, minus 2 cos t. But if I look at the initial question here, they said x, but x is equal to what do you have there? sin t plus 2 cos t. So therefore, we can say that a is equal to minus this one here. So you can see here is x. So we come from there, minus x. That's how it's done.
Das ist auch in